33 and a half to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is in the garage, and he's not happy with the handling of his Chevrolet. We're not going to be able to get enough labor to bring in it to make a difference. It feels like the car is rolling over the right front, and it's all over the right front, peaking hard load on the right front spring brake, and there's no left front in it. So I've got to, got to take the left front spring out, the shock out, and it's just broke. There's nothing working on the left front. Mike, you documented earlier in the show just about the loss of track on Friday due to Junior going to the wrong gear and spiking at over 12,000 RPM when the rev chip was 9,500. Now they're trying to play catch up, fighting a very tight conditioning. He had a lot of confidence in the car after made his one hard lap in qualifying, but now the car just continues to tighten up really quick. And Jeff, you were in this car a year ago. When you talk about the challenges of this pit road, the elevation change, a number of drivers I talked to this morning focusing on that wheel hop and possibly getting a speeding penalty on pit road tomorrow. It's a very inviting pit road. You really can carry a lot of speed, and it's pretty straight. That's a pretty straight shot coming to it, so you really want to brake as hard as you can, but it's these cars these days, the balance that they have in their in the brakes and the, in the setups, really it's easy to get a lot of wheel hop in the rear. I was listening to Junior's audio there, and the one thing I didn't hear was which turn or is it like that everywhere? Yeah, maybe it could be like that everywhere, as you see Denny Hamlin. Wow, look at that. Hey, Larry, look at that car in front of Denny Hamlin. I see it, I see it. Let's see, that's the National Championship NCAA football. Swanson. <laughs> they have two. Me. We have 16 in Tuscaloosa. I, 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 I recently, good. Larry. Yeah. Uh, two years ago. Okay, yeah. well, I we're, think uh, Nick Saban was driving that We're not living in the season. past here, all right? <laughs> Usually, if the car's rolling over and lifting up the left front, it's typically the flatter corner, like turn three. And what he's talking about with the right rear spring, he wants more right rear spring to prop that car up on the right rear and put more pressure on the left front to hold the left front down. And he's saying, there's not enough right rear spring we can put in it yeah. to do that. You need to address what's happening on the left front. You know what I'd say? Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> okay. You're not going to like it, but... All right, Joey Logano's back out after a little bit of a mysterious uh, oil on the windshield episode. Jamie? And it turned out it was quite minor, Mike. It was just power steering fluid. They fixed the issue. He was in the garage and back out in about five minutes. So they're back to work now. The team told me they were really happy with qualifying yesterday, but they were lacking speed in race setup. Their biggest concern was turn three. Really felt like it was disconnected. So they tightened that up trying to get the exit of all three turns tightened up as well. It's, it's such a compromise here, Mike. I mean, these long straightaways, you want to be able to fly down these straightaways because that's where you can really make some good time, make some good passes, getting into one and getting into two back there. But you compromise a little hamel uh, when you do get the car set up to where it backs down low, makes a lot of straightaway speed, but makes it very difficult to handle through the turns. Well, and we talked about this DW in traffic. So I, I think that the teams have really taking the engineering and aerodynamics and mesh them up pretty good where when they get that car down and even though it's really soft in the back they get it to not just get down the straightaway but they get it through the corners pretty good but when you're in traffic it's hiding that spoiler that spoiler's much further down and now you start to have some issues trying to maneuver through the corners behind other cars and i noticed you know that the lis is to keep this team from skewing the cars to the right the right rear kicked out but when we have these long straightaways I can see a little skew in these cars that we can't see anywhere else because we can look at them so long coming down this big, big long, long straightaways here. So there is a little skew in the car. I wonder if Kevin Harvick's thinking about his day job or his today job right now. Uh, He's thinking about his Twitter account. He will be anchoring the telecast for the Xfinity race coming up next at 1230 on Fox. And I'm... I went to the meeting last night that they had. I just wanted to sit in and listen. I, they're taking it very serious. I, I think you know, Fox is going to realize how competitive these drivers are when you put them in that position. And Kevin Harvick, uh, boy, he was really doing his homework. You know what today's going to be? It's either going to be great job security for us, or we're going to be standing out on the street corner selling postcards. We'll be asking, can we drive their car? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, like, can get jobs? Hey, guys, it's just like driving a race car. It's all about that team that's behind. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Governor Landis has got a heck of a team behind him. There is no I in team. There's Matt Kenson working on pit road entry. And Mike, right now you come off this corner wide open. I mean, just like you're going to head down the straight, but then you dive on pit road. And look at those rear tires locking up. Now he might be, he may have done the Jimmy Johnson theory and Chad Gass theory this week like they did last year. He has the very first pit stall coming in, or the last pit stall, however you want to look at it. And he can basically break really hard all the way to that stall. Yeah, didn't he have the second pit stall to Johnson last week? Yeah. But well, he never got a penalty last week. He used to always take that first pit in down there back in that way. He wrote the 17th and up doing that a lot. He's got it for tomorrow. You know who's right in front of him? Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> Neighbors. Hello, neighbor. 